Hello, I'm Dr. Samantha Holden, co-director of the LBDA Research Center of Excellence at the University of Colorado. I'm very happy to present our inaugural Louis Brief, short updates on clinical and research topics from physicians, researchers, therapists, caregivers, and people living with Louis. Appropriately, our first Louis Brief will focus on COVID-19 and dementia at least what we know so far. The pandemic has been an extremely difficult time for all of us, but even more so for people living with Louis and their caregivers. For people living at home, disruptions in normal routines, closure of day programs, and fewer options for help in the home have increased stress and worsened symptoms. Social isolation with physical distancing and lockdowns negatively affects sleep, mood, thinking and memory, and the immune system. For people living in memory care, quarantines and visitor restrictions have also been extremely stressful. Unfortunately, nursing home residents and employees account for 35% of all COVID-related deaths in the US. Maintaining a daily routine with as much structure as possible, getting outside for fresh air and physical exercise can help. Many local libraries are offering virtual classes. Contact your doctor for any worsening symptoms, which may require some adjustment of medications. The expansion of telehealth options with virtual doctor's appointments has also been very helpful. Older age is a known risk factor for more severe COVID-19 disease and related death, with people over 65 being five to 13 times more likely to require hospitalization if infected, and over 90 times more likely to die of the infection when compared to people aged 18 to 29. It's unclear if having dementia raises these risks over and above those related to age. People with dementia could have more trouble adhering to COVID precautions, such as hand washing and mask wearing, However, one small study recently published from a group in China showed that people with Alzheimer's dementia were no more likely to die of COVID-19 if hospitalized than people the same age without dementia. We are seeing neurological symptoms with COVID, including loss of sense of smell, seizures, strokes, hallucinations, and confusion, sometimes in the absence of typical respiratory symptoms. We don't know if these symptoms are related to systemic effects of the infection, secondarily affecting the brain, or if there's direct infection of brain cells by the SARS-CoV-2 virus. For people who already have neurological conditions, such as Lewy body, any new acute illness, including COVID-19, can cause a more abrupt worsening of existing symptoms. We will bring you any new information regarding COVID-19 and Lewy body dementia through this new Lewy brief medium. Please feel free to suggest any topics for our experts to cover in the future in the comment section below. Take care and stay safe.